And the bye, I can't even know so. No, but say you get out of the bo, or but say I can't go because today, as you know, to Oma, if you are man, but Oma, eh, she done and got a baby. She went to lie, na ya ne meno, but she get out na Eastern News Twenty Four. Bo, ever since we turn ya bo zi, I na bo morning tea ni lo akupo. Eh, no but she get out ya before dika, dika is ko na ngwa. I gana abo kwa nombo, diki ike kwa la ye. I need you daily update. Basta maki yene meno buda. Ana basta maka. Ngolo wana azo. Um, diko si di. Obo liye biya flan prime minister kuno ni wako po. Ay wote lu unu. Si kuno te alo. Basta maki yabi yife. Oga si kuyen do zon do. On do zon kugase. Mana ya simba na yege te kuru ni ya kuno ge yabi yife. Unu ge siya ya. Una drop all like comment. You know if unu chero. Basta maki yabi yife. Also the key be above and cabin was seized again. I join a cabado key so I line a name. She a cool little woman nine doors aka. All right, come up in your second year. You go soon, you'll be fair. I do make a web. Yeah, over to you, you'll be a friend, Prime Minister. My son, money, but over to you, sir. Okay, great. All right, done. Ben, you can go ahead. Um, okay, so uh, see my screen. Uh, Ben, before you continue, please, I hope um, none of your content has any gory images, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's no gory images. All right, right on. Can uh, um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Very well, very well. Very well. Okay. So the Biafran War. Quick overview. Um, the Biafran War, also known as the Nigerian Civil War, took place between 1967 and 1970 due to ethnic and political divisions between Nigeria's Igbo-dominated Southeast and the Hausa Fulani-led North. Colonel Odemegu Ojuku led Biafra to declare independence in 1967, which led to a military intervention by the Nigerian government, headed by General Yakubu Gowon. The conflict included intense battles, human rights violations, and a severe humanitarian crisis, with an estimated 1 to 3 million deaths from famine and disease. Despite initial successes by Biafra, the Nigerian led and the Nigerian military, sorry, backed by international support from countries like Britain and the Soviet Union, eventually were victorious. The war concluded in 1970 with Biafra's capitulation and its reintegration into Nigeria, significantly shaping the nation's political and ethnic dynamics of today. So, an introduction. One of the unique things about Biafra. In the history of warfare is that not only was Biafra fighting a war but simultaneously Biafra was also building a nation state which includes fully functioning institutions such as the Central Bank of Biafra, University of Biafra, ministries and law courts. For example people were still going to court for petty cases and receiving punishments or getting married in a church as a normal society would whilst fighting the war. This is what makes Biafra unique, and things like this are what should be celebrated in history. So, number one, the post-war £20 policy. So, at the end of the war, a Nigerian panel concluded that every Igbo person who had an account in any Nigerian bank before the Civil War was to receive £20. At the beginning of the Civil War, Igbo people took their money out of Nigerian banks and changed it to the bank um, to the Biafran currency. After the war, the Nigerian government took control of bank accounts belonging to Biafrans. A Nigerian committee decided to give each Igbo person a new bank account with just £20 in it. This meant that there were more millionaires who were stripped of all their money and forced to rebuild off of a mere £20. Despite this though, the eastern region still grew to become bigger than most of the other regions of Nigeria today, despite the harsh conditions they were forced to build their economy back up from. 
But what many people don't know is that is what happened to the money that was stripped from the Biafrans. In 1972, two years after the war concluded, the Nigerian government released the um, indigenization decree, which mandated all foreign, all foreign, especially British companies, to be either fully or partly owned by Nigerians. A decree that the Igbos did not benefit from, and is believed that the money used to finance the purchase of these private interests was on the other side of that twenty pounds. Number two, Biafra's crude oil refineries. During the Biafran War, faced with e uh, faced with an economic blockade limiting the access to petroleum products, products, um, the Biafrans ingen ingeniously established makeshift crude oil refineries. Leveraging local expertise and traditional refining methods for palm oil, they improvised equipment using available uh, materials like old barrel and pipes. This community-driven effort, coupled with training initiatives, enabled them to produce sufficient refined petroleum products to sustain their economy and military operations throughout the conflict. This technology the Biafra's created is still being used by the likes of the Russians today. Number three, the hijacking of planes. During the Biafra war, Biafra militants hijacked four planes, including two Nigerian Airways planes and two BOAC, which is the British Overseas Airways Corporation planes. On July 10th, 1968, diverting them to the uh, Ulai airstrip in Biafra. This dramatic act was an attempt to draw international attention to the plight of the Biafran people and the humanitarian crisis caused by the Nigerian government's blockade and military offence. While the passengers and the crew were released unharmed, the hijacking was widely condemned by the international community, including the Nigerian and British governments, as an act of terrorism and a violation of international law. Despite the international attention generated, the hijacking did not significantly alter the course of the Biafran war or lead to a resolution of the conflict. Now, number four, the minting of the Biafran currency. During the Nigerian civil war, Biafra declared independence and issued its own currency, the Biafran, uh, the Biafran pound. On the 29th of January, 1968, Biafra began minting its own one pound and five pound shillings, shilling notes in Portugal. These notes were made from paper and not too durable. Then, in February 1968, a second revolution of these minted notes were made in Switzerland, including a five pound shillings note, a ten pound shillings note, a one pound note, a five pound note, and a ten pound note. These notes were polymer made and more durable than the initial paper notes. The Biafrans are made in 1968. Once the war concluded in 1970, however, these notes were discontinued. Number five, Omar Bongo Odimba. Omar Bongo Odimba was the president of Gabon from 19, 1967 sorry, until his death in 2009, making him one of the longest serving leaders in the world. During the Biafran war, Omar Bongo played a significant humanitarian role by allowing the adoption of Biafran children who were flown to Gabon by foreign mercenary pilots from France and Netherlands in order to escape the conflict and its devastating effects. My grandmother is actually in this Zoom meeting, was one of the uh, seven girls, um, which comprised from two nurses and five Red Cross girls that had, been take, that had taken the children to Gabon by the planes. She recalls the Nigerian Air Force's attempts to shoot down the planes as frightening for all parties on the aircraft. Luckily, however, the Nigerian Air Forces seem to miss the plane. So, under Omar um, Bongo's leadership, Gabon provided a safe haven for these orphaned and displaced children from Biafra. Many of these children had lost their families and were in desperate need of care and support. Omar Bongo facilitated the adoption process and ensured that these children received proper care, education, and a chance for a better future in Gabon. Subsequently, one of the children Omar had adopted, named 
Ali Bongo Odimba went on to become the next president of Gabon. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. I even no. didn't short notice. You were able to do something. Thank you, Ben. There we go. No, no. Uh, her grandmother is part of us. She's part of UK liaison cabinet. Isn't Ngozi Obudefuna? That's her grandmother that she was talking about during the Nigerian war. Her grandmother was instrumental in giving medication and assistance to people. So there are those who are born for this for this liberation. Her grandmother is one of them. And they were. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, on this note, my Lord, PM, please, um, any further exposition? <laughs> well, well, uh, you know, uh, just to inform uh, our people that uh, the voting is very, very important. Uh, you know, voting is very, very important, the self-referendum voting. Uh, those of you in the United Kingdom, you have a duty to make sure that your people back home participate in the voting. And uh, so uh, you can also help in sponsoring uh, the officials, electoral officials that are, uh, you know, going places from places to places to, you know, do the voting exercise is very, very important. Uh, uh, we need as many votes as possible. At least uh, we need to capture those uh the number or half of those who voted during the general election that's our target and uh it's just uh, about four million people that voted in the entire biafra land so we are targeting some reasonable number of uh, voters from that four million uh and we understand that because this voting is uh is being done in a electronic manner so our people are not very conversant with uh, this, but uh, we have to do it because that is the option that is available for us. And that as part, the uh, the uh, Finland Convention, uh, the Declaration of the Restoration of Independence of Biafra Convention in Finland is very, very important as well. The, uh, the uh, slot is very limited. So if you have not registered to the, for the event, I would urge that whoever that is watching, either from the United Kingdom or anywhere in the world, you have to register so that you will not uh, be uh, disappointed when you register and will return your money back because uh, the place may not, uh, uh, you know, take you because of the limited uh, number. So the earlier, the better for those who wish to come to Finland. And remember that it is still far. December is far. Uh, November is far, but it is not that uh, far. So uh, it will be good for those who wish to be in Finland to, you know, start the process of registration, uh, you know, very early. And um, and then of course uh, uh, we lost somebody in the United Kingdom. Many of you know uh, Victor. Victor uh, uh, Victor uh, lived in the United Kingdom. He was a, he was a very a very big uh, supporter of this government and uh, we lost him and so the the funeral uh we are also the government is going to participate and we are planning uh with the family so those of you in the united kingdom uh some people have volunteered to be part of it so we will need uh, uh more uh, people as well and then when we're going to have a meeting about this please we would like the the United Kingdom to also be part of uh, the meeting where we're going to have it. So, uh, we will communicate uh, you through the European rep about uh, the preparation that will be made. So it's very important to be our own. That will be part of us. Both uh, financially and other. So, and then, um, of course, uh, our defense is very, very important. The uh, United Kingdom has always supported the government very well and uh, so we'll continue like that encouraging all of you you have done very well in the uk and uh, we need as many people as possible 
our defense is very, very important that uh, uh, the resources is needed, finance is needed, just like every other nation that are fighting and uh, trying to protect and defend their land. Uh, they will always be going from one place to another to source of fund until the war uh, and is won. The, they have defended their land. Things happening, same thing happening in Ukraine today. So our defense is very important. Nigeria will never see our back until the declaration and defense and recognition of Biafra, you know, no matter how long it's going to take, we are ready for this. So uh, the United Kingdom, there is no other news I am bringing. Of course, another thing is the, uh, the launching of uh, the Biafra shop. Uh, those of you in the United Kingdom, you know that uh, the launching of Biafra shop is happening um cos which day even sorry it's uh, coming thursday all right so coming thursday will be the launching of the biafra shop so we expect at least reasonable number of people from uk and all over the world to be part of it at least why we are, we are launching it you'll be able to order one or two things to test whether uh, uh you know the shop is uh, working or not so you'll be able to buy you know live uh, purchase as we are launching the the afra shop maybe you buy some kind of t-shirt or cup or something with the afra uh, you know design and the signal in it to test the shop and as you are buying you are also supporting uh and the government and, and the biafra defense very very important everything goes to biafra defense and of course with all the uh uh you know uh lobbies and all that we have and um and then of course uh, the issue of uh, radio uh, transmitters is very very important that uh, we cover this as soon as possible because now we need we need the information uh disseminating a system to cover the entire 40 state and now that we are on free to air uh, such light uh it is very very important that uh, as the voting is going on and as we prepare for the liberation and for the declaration, our people back home will be carried along, especially those rural areas that don't have access to smartphones or access to the internet. They will have access to radio to listen to radio. The radio is working 24 hours. The same thing to the voice of the Afro as like TV 24 hours. As I'm speaking, it is working, it's live. So these are the updates. And of course, um, uh, everybody knows what is happening now. They have moved the, uh, the headquarter of the, the Navy from Lagos to uh, River State, the Biafra land in water for the very first time after 100 years. Of the, what am I going to say? So it is only now they know that uh, River State is good to have headquarter of the Nigerian Navy. And I told them that we welcome them with our arms to so come <laughs> closer to us so that we don't have to send a, a special squad to Lagos to engage them. Let them come closer to us for easy access to, to their facilities. The time will come. So we want them to bring DNA, NDA or whatever they call them, to any place as well so it will be more closer. And their efforts also so that they don't have to fly far before they come to bomb our place. They have to be very, very uh, close. So this is all happening. is a sign that we have defeated Nigeria. And all of you know the propaganda they are doing, are sharing flyers. And the by that only no consciousness or any name. Never go. And the key is so we get a beef in the rear. The ballon, the gentle lion who was in the rock war. No basin can talk. Also the key be a boy. If you were equal, but stomach have been fed down, you know, was in Europe. Well, folk will it in Oakley, the case in the case you were equal, but stomach have been fed. A drop wire on the comment section below. Chitopedia Eastern is twenty four. I see when you were telling the Posia document. Dana no moon than one came a sian.